Welcome to another episode of OS First Timer. In this episode, Diana is going to be receiving her brand new laptop. Now just before she gets a new one, let's check out her old one. So here we go, it's an old Toshiba, it's got Windows XP on it, even though it says Windows Vista. So obviously they've even downgraded it to XP from Vista. It's so slow, even with just XP on it. So she wanted a new computer. Yes, this was getting too slow. XP is starting to lose support. The computer has a problem with it whereby every time I'm working, if I accidentally knock it or bump it, the whole screen goes off. And, and you've I got to open and shut yeah. multiple times to get it to Drives come back on. Crazy. It prints badly because it's just the printer just doesn't even support it properly. Yes, it's also just very slow. Sometimes stalls and yep. also three and a half minutes just to boot it up, then a minute and a half to get Firefox up after that. So five minutes just to get to Firefox. Yeah, that's right. So I need a new computer. So I said to Philip, choose one for me that is fast, easy to use and I can use at night as well so preferably with some sort of a lighting system and that <laughs> I can understand a little bit giving it away there now unbox it okay so the old is gone now just be cautious that that's a 13 inch laptop this is a 14 inch it's slightly an bigger extra inch. yeah an extra inch in screen size but oh my gosh it comes with its own little briefcase <laughs> <laughs> Don't smash it onto the floor. Oh, I'll try not to. Oh, it's coming. The aliens have arrived. Wow, look at that. Comes with your own briefcase. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not that big, okay? Hope Don't start. Not. That would be more like the 19 inch one would be that big, or 18 actually, 18 inch. This is the 14, so this is the smallest one. Okay. They're just their little base model. Wait a sec. Does it seem oh. very futuristic? Now it is it's quite very thick. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's very thick to compare to your it's old quite one. Two point seven kilos. Whoa, it's heavy. Well, it better be worth it. It is. It's powerful. It comes with little bits yep. of things here. Alienware. Now, why does it? Why is it called Alienware? Is it so out of this world? It's so. Famous. It's so futuristic. The idea is it's the most powerful computer computers in the universe. Well, for a 14-inch laptop, it's apparently the most powerful in the universe. It comes with a few CDs. Do I need those? Um, Shouldn't they already be on there? You probably want to keep those just in case you have recovery DVDs oh, and okay. stuff. An operating system. It's already installed, but you just probably want to keep those. Okay. Uh, well, I have to admit, if I was going out by myself to buy a new computer, I wouldn't have even known where to start. I would have just... Um, gone in store, asked the shop assistant, said, these are my needs what will suit me and I would have just taken what they were saying. They would have probably given you a slow bottom of the range Dell Inspiron. But you've chosen this for me so yep. you better perform. You're getting the bottom of the top of the range. The bottom of the top of the range, okay. <laughs> Alienware is very good but this is the cheapest okay. Alienware model out there. Okay, it's got plug-in things. Yep, there. you probably want to plug it in straight away uh, just because of the fact when you first turn get a new computer it's best to get the battery a charge so. Well shouldn't it be charged for First, no, no, no. You use life. no. You use it right while you're charging it. Yeah, while you're charging it. But that's not what you're supposed to do. No, because it's still being charged. You see. Okay, the briefcase can go. Don't. It might have other stuff in it. Well, I hope not. Okay. Now compare it to your old laptop. Just first of all, like grab the old one. See, unboxings are a lot easier when you have someone to film it. Most it's unboxings. It's not that much bigger. Yeah. But this is lighter. A lot lighter. But the thing is, this is big because it packs a lot of performance, and with all that performance, it needs a massive battery. You see. You said it had a stake in it or something. A stake. A stake drive or something. Oh, it's got just a solid state drive for catching. Okay. So that just makes it fast. You can actually use a solid state drive. Okay. So open it up. Now, it's inside it's got a fourth generation Core i7 processor. So those are very, very good. Does it look designed well? It looks designed well, yeah. It looks the same keyboard that I'm used to. Yep, With so it doesn't... Keys in the right place. <laughs> they haven't moved anything. Yep, it's not a Dvorkian keyboard. Yeah. Whatever that is. That's not how you pronounce it anyway. Yeah, it's got the left right click and the trackball. The, yeah. You know. That. Yeah, trackpad. Good. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. She's just going through the documentation. It's not a lot. It's very. 
Well, it's, it's simple. It just says plug it in and turn it on in about 50 different languages. It doesn't really require much instruction. If you can use your own computer, you can use this. Okay, we've just plugged the Alienware into the wall. And as you can see, it's already lighting up, showing that it's charging. It's got the little blue charging ring. Over here, we've got the old computer and the new Alienware. It's an Alienware 14. No customization is made, so it's the general Alienware you get, but it's just got that catching drive, which was free just for a limited time only. Now here, we've got an iPad with the stopwatch application and an iPhone with the stopwatch application. The iPhone will track how fast this one boots, and this one, the iPad, will track how fast the Alienware boots. Uh, just a note though, with the boot up times, we're probably going to take one minute off this boot up time just because of the fact that this one actually has a login system and this one will pretty much log in straight away as far as I'm aware. So due to the login system in this one, we'll take a minute off. Okay, are you ready to boot them up? Yeah, what do I do first? I'm going to press the wait, on. Wait, wait, yeah, you're going to press the on. And that at the same time. And that at the same time. And, and you press that and that at the same time. But I've got a camera in my hand. <laughs> can you do that? Well, what Maybe we're... I can press those two. Yeah, you're okay to press those two and I'll press this. Ready? And this two. Here we go. Wait. Ready? Wait, wait, wait. Three, two, one, press. Here we go. The alien wears lit up straight away. I like the blue. Yeah, that's just the general theme. And there's some blue under here too. Wow. And even that's blue. Oh, look, the trackpad's blue. Yep. Do you like how the trackpad's are a lot bigger? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. So this one's, yeah, just got a quite small one. It's black. That's the only lit up thing on this, really, that and that. This one's, yeah, oh, a lot more lit up. Oh, that didn't start. <laughs> oh, no. Just think of it like that and I'll press oh, lap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll press lap. So, <laughs> I thought this would happen. It wants you to set it up first. Oh, dear. So, okay. yeah, we'll, we'll get the boot up time anyway, again. Okay, Australia, keyboard layer, US. Do they have an Australian layer? Let's see if you can see Australia. English Australia there. Oh, it's there, yes. Generally, we just do US here. Really? Yep. Okay. Well, That's what I was trying to say before. It's not a Dvork keyboard. Okay, so next. You don't need to do this all the time. No, no, you? this is no. Of course, not. this okay. is the first time you use a computer. Basically, you accept all that stuff, whatever yep. it's saying. Then just e email address in. Pick a color. What's your favorite color? Oh, for what? For this? No, no. For all this blue stuff, we can change that later. But oh. this is just um, a general, like your background color kind of thing. Match it. Why not just blue? Uh, but I like light blue. Like that? Um, or a bit darker that blue? That reminds Slightly me of darker? It was on that before. screen of death. I don't want to see that so early in the piece. Is that better? Yeah, that'll do. Oh, actually, how about we just have pink? Oh, do you really want pink? Yeah, actually pink. <laughs> you always get pink in all of these. <laughs> just, I'm like pink. Okay, next. Oh, what do you want to call the living computer? Living room! In your nose, it's in the living room. It's, that's very advanced. <laughs> no, no, it was just saying as an example living room PC. What do you want to call it? Uh, You're not allowed to use those in the name or of a PC computer. PC name, it can be named after me. Oh, oh you press quit as in oh. cancel. I would call it PC. I thought that was X as in, you know, continue okay. on. No, next. And now the wireless. So we just put the password yep. in. Now so use, use express, express settings. Express settings. Um, sign in, so you use your email address to sign into your computer. And that has to be like that. Yep, and it's going to check for a Microsoft account now. And It'd be could... pretty bad if you had a huge email address, oh. a long one. No, no, you don't have to type it every time. It saves it, and then oh. you just click You just click, and then do your password. Okay, now you sign in, just type your password. Oh my gosh, it's raining, the clothes. <laughs> just what you want to see in an Alienware unboxing. She's just typing a password. I don't think she has a Microsoft account though, but let's see if it either makes one for her. It just says, sign in. Okay. So it automatically detected that, that I, wasn't, that I didn't, didn't have, an, have account. an account. So it's creating it just based on what you just put in there. So what do you think just of the laptop in general? Does it look? Well, the keyboard's easy to use, yep. and I really like that extra big, big Yeah, because you've got thing. more space. This Did you find sometimes you go, yeah, and your finger I ran did, out, and this I is did. kind of like a bigger, you know, yeah. you can get it more around the screen. You can like, Let's see, in fact, let's test. I've got my finger on this point, and it's at the top right corner of the screen, as you can see. Now I'm going to put it all the way down. Yeah. Or it, go, it, get, it gets it's quite close. It almost does the whole... Yeah. It's almost like that represents the whole screen. Almost, yeah. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> While we're getting things ready, check out the new way to use Windows. So it's got Windows 8 on it. But I'm, I'm used to Windows 8 now, so. Yeah. 
And I'm starting to get frustrated things not See, being look, supported. This with new thing. XP. Move your mouse to any corner after it started. No, once it started, and it shows you there's a little thing where you can search for files and stuff like that at the side of the screen. To any corner. So it wants me to no, move but it to any corner. That'll be once your computer starts up. Oh. So generally you put your cursor oh, to the okay. top and then a little so start. So it's telling appears, me. Yeah. Now I'm not sure if this has Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 because Windows 8.1 has an actual start button. You want to your PC ready. Yeah, if you want to start Look at menu. That, it's getting itself ready. Yeah. That's okay. If you want and this is the first time you start it. When you first boot it, like every time, it'll always have something really long like this. But then, from now on, it'll be fast. This is just showing all the colours you pretty much could have chosen for it. Oh, that's actually a nice one. Oh, not aqua. the green. No, not the green. The aqua was quite nice. Yeah. But, oh, that's nice. Oh, but then that becomes almost the blue screen. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's 270s. Yeah. It's coming to pink. Burgundy, that's nice. You should have chosen that then. I should have actually. <laughs> I like burgundy. You can change it any time you want though, so that's fine. Well, let's just let's yeah, let's start get, with this Yeah, one. let's start. So, okay. basically, just so you know, this is what the start menu is. But remember, Windows 8 does have a desktop. And do you know what you can put here on the bottom? Here at the bottom bar, you can put all the programs you use all the time on the bottom here. So you could put Firefox just like a dock at mm -hmm. the bottom and you can load them instantly. Okay, get I understand. It? Yep. Yeah, so this is Windows 8, so you can update it to Windows 8.1, which is a free update um, but we won't do that right now and that'll add a start button it was saying before to put your cursor to the corner at the top and that just comes up with this stuff where you can search for any files mm -hmm. on your computer and you can do that wherever you are now let's see it should have office Although they've probably put it on a CD for us. Why is it telling me about Paris and London? Because you've got to set it to the weather where you want it to be. So have a little go with opening, let's say, internet. Popped up straight away. Did you see how fast that was? But can I get rid of that and put Firefox, uh, uh, Firefox instead? Yeah. So you could probably, yeah, you can do that if or you want. Or maybe just keep that just in case there's things that are not compatible with. Oh, uh, I'll just get Firefox. It should be okay. But generally, and by the way, do you want to start menu or do you want to just get used to the whole Windows 8 thing? Just with like all your programs there, one click launch at the bottom bar. Um, I haven't really decided yet. I I think I'm, I would prefer that. Yeah, just a... But what are you saying? Have that big tile thing with all different tiles? With that's programs. basically, you only need to access that if you don't have a program here. So that just oh. a replacement start menu instead of the start menu being a little tiny so thing these here, it's a full screen this is basically your start menu but okay. it's a full screen but I can make these different squares my own little um, yep you like can make icons. your own little squares and if you don't like the size of them say you you don't like mail and you're like oh I don't like how big mail is what if I want mail smaller well look and then you can arrange can't them. Can we just make this like a desktop thing? You can if you want to make your, it a desktop. my own icons. Yep, okay, but rather this than can be a desktop as well. I don't want two desktops <laughs> because I don't need to. I just need one. But the only issue with the start screen is it's a bit harder to like manage all your personal files and stuff on it. You pretty much want more of a desktop for that. If you, really? You know how you put all your files on your desktop? But can't that go into one little tile thing? Well, let's let's try it out. We'll just make mail big again because it looks a bit silly small. Okay, let's say we had a photo. Let's just get a photo of Firefox. Uh, we're too far from the internet out here. We might have to unplug it and stuff. I don't... But it probably wouldn't even be charged yet. Where is it? What is it? I can't even see it probably. Is that Can the... you turn it on? Oh, look Oh, it's fully charged 100%. Fully charged 100% already. already. I think it may have already been most oh. low charged when we got it, so it wouldn't charge that fast usually. So does that mean we don't need it plugged in anymore? Well, generally not. If it's fully charged, okay. plugging it in is just making it use the wall power rather than the battery power. Okay, well, I'll... Move it away. Yep, okay. Do this. Okay, here we're going to do the test. See which laptop boots faster. Here we go. Uh, we'll take a minute off that because of the fact that it's dual oh, booting. What is the actual on thing? Is it that or is it that? No, it's that. It is that. Okay. It is that. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, they're both going. The alien one so far is turned itself on and showing the Alienware this logo. This one hasn't even come on yet, but I have to move it down to... Yep, once it does XP. come on. Oh, it's on. This is on. It's ready to log in. Okay. Okay, now it's logging in, and it's logged in, and this one's ready to use. Oh my gosh, and, we and this can, one's still And this one's still about... saying Windows XP. <laughs> um, I can open Firefox. It's already on 9MSN. Oh my gosh. And let's go over to www.google.com. And now I'm on Google. And this one still hasn't come up. It's starting up. Now it's still wait. You can't log in yet. Now you can log in. Now I forgot to stop this. So I just stopped it just then. Okay. 
But it booted. It's less than 48 seconds. It's probably about 12 or something. <laughs> Uh, oh well, the, the people will be able to see at what point. Yeah, how fast yeah. it was. Anyway, what we're going to do now is once your one is it ready? to... Oh, you've it's clicked still, it. It's still logging in. Yeah. No, and look, it's it doesn't even do the screen properly. It can't even do the full desktop no. background. I don't even know what happened there. It just went like that one day. Okay, when does the start bar going to appear? <laughs> okay, the icons are up. Now the next test is we're going to see how fast it can open a program. Now since the office isn't actually installed on this at this very point, because I'm going to install it after the video, now what we're going to need to do now is open a really, really lightweight program called WordPad. WordPad comes on all Windows computers. So what I'm going to do to open WordPad is I'm going to... This one still hasn't come on properly, you know? It's still got all the... See, look, it's still going. So three minutes into it, I stopped the timer at three minutes and 51 seconds. Almost four minutes. And, yeah, but and that was about a minute ago, and, and now Mum's computer popular. is finally fully up. So that was about four minutes, almost five minutes, just to get her computer on. Yeah. Right? This one was a lot faster. So now I just want you to quickly customise just a few quick things. First of all, I put Firefox there for you already on this new Alienware laptop. So can you open Firefox? And I've got it there too. Oh yeah, and you've got it there if you want. You can remove from one of them if you want. Okay, so I just click that. Yep, let's come up. Click and so images. is this always going to be my front yep. page? Your home page. page, yep. I've yep. set that as your home page. Okay, so now Google Images. Let's quickly search for a desktop background. Type something interesting that you want as a desktop background for your computer. Yes. Oh no, not interesting. Desk. You're kidding me. Ground. Well, you said to type in an <laughs> interesting desktop background. Let's have a look. Wow, they're all right. That's really nice, but that's really nice too. Actually, I probably prefer that one, but let me scroll down and just see. Now, it is in 1080p, so lots of these are made perfectly. Oh, look at that one. Did you see that one yeah, with yeah, the water? Yeah, that's nice too. I like the cow. Do you like that, by the way? Oh, not really the green water. I okay. think it's got mould on algae. What about there? Um, oh, oh, that's, that's nice. really nice. The only thing I'm looking at it, I'm just looking at the resolution. Oh, actually, no, it's 1080p. Do you want that? I don't know. No, let me have a look more down. Oh, the little chicken with the bomb around him. That's terrible. I thought you wanted that's, that one. <laughs> that's not even funny. Somebody's put that there to be funny. That's cruel. I think I'll just have that the one. The ocean one? Yeah. Put your cursor over it and it should say 1920 by 1080. That's the yep. best resolution okay. for this. Click it. And now right click it and just set as background. Um, set as desktop background. And just click set. Now I just want you to choose a window colour, so just click colour. Um, is this for this thing yep, around there? that and the borders and also the taskbar. Actually, I might choose that one. And I there's like even that. a colour like mixer. No, okay, no, you no, like no. it like that? Yep, yep. Okay, save. Now I think it's time to see how fast we can open a program. Now this one has had plenty of time to load. This computer is on. It's yep. been about 20 minutes now. We're going to now try and see who can open WordPad first. I, just one question. What? How do you replace the globe in there? Oh, the colours. No, Do you want to globe, change the globe that's lighting up that? You don't replace it. Just, it stays like that. Oh my goodness! Oh wait, it just dimmed off and then it turned back on. So it just looks purple through the camera, and oh, it, right. at different angles it changes colour <laughs> in the camera. It just—it's a bit strange. It looks better in real life. Gosh, actually. It looks like it's going to take off. Look, it's, <laughs> Look at yeah, all, all the way around, all the way around, up to the back. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do, and we're going to choose the colours here and stuff if you want to change no, 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 it. All the keyboard. So you like everything blue, yeah, that, yeah, the keyboard, yeah, and I that do. blue. Okay. Use, I'll show you how to I'll go use, to WordPad. Here you just go to Start, then you go to Accessories, up the top here, All Programs, Accessories, and WordPad is just... Notepad. Notepad, no, 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 no. Do WordPad. There. Oh, the that's bottom. WordPad, and okay. then that's how you open it. Okay. Now let's see who can open it faster. Ready? And I'm holding a camera, so I've got a disadvantage. Ready, set, go. Okay, I win. Plus, I had a camera, so that was a lot harder for me. Okay. Now, I'll show you how I did it on this, just so you know in reference how to yeah. open a program just when you're on this start screen, and it's instead of going to the menu and all programs and stuff. A quick way to do it is like this. You type in... Word, and then it'll show you all the programs that start with it, and just press enter, WordPad there. Okay. Was that easy? 
Very easy. Okay, now we're going to do a shutdown test. Which computer can shut down faster? But before we do, I'll just show you the whole lighting system and how this works. Just the, how the customization works and we'll do a shutdown. So that shows you the laptop. It's even lit up. You can't see it very well, but the back's even lit up. At the back of the computer wow, there. you'd never lose it in the dark. <laughs> yeah, it's great it just, for the it dark. It makes me feel as if it's going to lift off into like, the Like a futuristic. UFO. What computer honestly looks... Better. Yeah. Well, that looks better and futuristic. What but looks, yeah. You know what, the strange thing, they always make things smaller and smaller and smaller. How come this is thicker and bigger? Because it's more powerful. If oh. you want something newer that's better than that, you mm -hmm. could get like a MacBook Air or something. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, MacBook Air to compare to this is not very good. You <laughs> the, this is thicker. Sorry about saying, but no, Mac, Mac do sell good things like their MacBook Pro is fantastic, but this has packs a lot of power. Uh, it, it's very thick to pack all the power on the good you battery life. Yeah. I'm wondering why you chose this computer for me. I have a feeling that you will be using I'll it. I'll use it every now and then. Oh, yeah. And Dad wants to use it as well. I'm sure you'll be using it. You probably chose this specifically because you like it. For By yourself. the way, can I just ask, in general, if you had to go to a business meeting, yeah. Which computer would you feel more embarrassed bringing in? This one, obviously. Really? Yeah. So you don't feel... Because some people feel that the laptop doesn't seem very professional. They feel like they would be embarrassed sometimes to bring something no, like this I, into a meeting. I, I feel super modern and futuristic. Okay. At the same time, Alienware is kind of a bit of a funny name. <laughs> So, yeah. Okay, so this is how you would change all the colours and stuff, so it shows you all different points. You click on something, say you want to change the colour of this, right? But I don't want to change the No, I'm the just saying if this. you did, what you'd do is you've got this big colour wheel, and you can flick like this oh, and no. change it, see? I don't want that. I know you don't, but just have a few look, and you can even do something like pink. Oh, that, I don't actually like that. <laughs> I like the blue. I know, but I'm just showing you how you can actually We're change the colour. We're going to which blue it was. It was this blue. And it's even got stuff like battery and di different states, view advanced mode. It, it's crazy. See how, how I've clicked this side of the keyboard? You could make that side of the keyboard pink. Oh, no. I wouldn't want to do that. That side of the keyboard green. Oh, come off it. And see how you can actually literally change... <laughs> Yeah. Not that you would want to do that, really but you can change it. And the alien, like everything, even that little Alienware logo there. And then we'll set it all back to default. And pulse. Oh, that's just flashing. Oh, that'd drive me nuts. Yeah, that would be. Imagine how annoying that, that would be. That would be good for epileptic people. Yeah. Just in general, what do you think about the whole size of everything? Like, look at your computer screens yeah. and think about the size. Yeah, that that is a better size. And. Do you think this is the... Actually, maybe it's the same size. No, 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 it's 14 inches. The actual okay. screen is bigger. But do you think this is a nice... Like, even though it is quite big, do you think it's still portable, still usable? Yeah. And it's okay to move this? Um, try not to put it sideways. Okay. Either of them. <laughs> just because it can damage, especially if you're copying files. Let's say you said copy stuff. Just because of the whole hard drive, it's not a solid state drive. Okay. Yeah. Now let's do a shutdown test. We're just going to go off by how fast it just appears here in shutting well, down. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to put our finger over the power button. Okay, well okay. I have to go to start. Do, do you want me to click start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click start and stuff. We're going to both at the oh, same time press shut down. Um, does your one say, are you sure you want to shut down? I don't know. Because this one doesn't. I don't remember. I'm, I'm so confused now. When I see new things, I get confused about what my old thing was like. Can you just press shut down and if it doesn't say it, I'll press power. Okay, ready? Oh, now press OK press at the same time. Hit ready? Okay. Three, two, one, click. Oh, I've got to shut down. So I had a little thing too. Anyway, shutting down, take two seconds off that. Here we go. Done. Oh my gosh. And this is still going. Yep. That's done. And, and then the lights dim off. The lights dim off slowly. Oh, okay. There, done. Completely, and your one is still going. Yeah. Oh, well, there we go. Perhaps what we can do is once you've got all my files up there and you've got it it's set, still going, <laughs> and you've got it set yeah, exactly done, yeah. to the way I want it, yep. you can then film that last bit showing my completed. Um, Maybe we'll do Diana's Alienware two weeks in or something. How you can just give a review of the computer, how fast it is. What about you give an Alienware review in two weeks from now? But so far, are you impressed with the new laptop? Yeah, I am actually. I'm just hoping to um, get the hang of it quickly and get all 
what's in here yep. into there customize it so that it's exactly the way i want it i don't want like two things like i don't want a firefox there and a firefox there yeah. i just want the one thing yeah with everything, everything the way yeah yeah okay fine so in a couple of weeks we'll do a review of how it's going and we'll show up what my final um desktop looks like okay yeah see you next time see you next time bye Okay, so it's been a day now. Her personal files are now on the computer. She's got AVG virus scanner and she's even got a classic eight start menu. Basically, I have customized this exactly the way I want it and we decided not to do a video in two weeks but to do it the next day because I've been using it quite a lot last night and I really feel I've got the absolute whole gist of the computer I know exactly what I'm doing and I love it this way the way I have customized it so okay we'll so let's now next. do a boot up speed because we failed the last two <laughs> badly and I'll just say the very first yeah. thing I did was I wanted to get rid of the login thing where you put your you know login yep. thing. I just want to turn it on and go straight into the computer, the desktop. And for me, I like a desktop. So let's okay. go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Now remember this has virus scanner software on it. Free? <laughs> yeah, free virus scanner software. And, and I'll stop it as soon as it gets to the desktop. There okay. we go. So 14, just in under 15 under seconds. Under 15 seconds. And you've got a fully functional computer and it's full speed. Like. That's right. Basically, I like a computer that has all my documents there. And I like a start button. And I like having all the programs that I use on there. And I have got Firefox, Chrome and Internet Explorer because I find that some things open better in certain web browsers. And I like having Word and I like having Excel, Paint and Calculator. For me, that's all I need. And I like having a shutdown button just so that I can just double click and it's going to shut down. I like having a shortcut to my Gmail because I access that a lot and I like having a little shortcut to one of my businesses there. So I'll just now show the start menu. Get rid of that. Oh why is it pink? Oh it's pink because Jasmine wanted it pink. Oh don't fiddle with my computer while I'm out and don't let your little sister use it. So that's supposed to be blue by the way. And by the way, when I use it at night, it's yep. fantastic because it's all lit up. All the keys are lit up all, very well. All around the sides. In fact, it feels like it's just going to lift off into the air and take off. By the way, I like having the weather up there, which tells me exactly, you know, the That was a low special Windows 8 widgets we got there. Yeah, so basically, when I turn the computer on, that is the screen I want to see. I don't want to see tiles flashing around. Yep, and instead of tiles now, you have got the start button here at the bottom which takes you to a start menu there we go so it's just as if it was Windows and I 7. chose that little um, picture there which is our family portrait it's super fast I just cannot believe how fast it is and the battery life to compare to your old computer oh the old computer it's back 20 minutes <laughs> like 20 minutes because it was wearing away. This one is about four hours. Yeah, so basically this is the way I, I love having my computer. Super fast and at night it's all blue and lit up. Yeah, let's put the blinds down so we can see how it's lit up at night. Now this is just showing the lit up keyboard so when she's typing at night time you can see perfectly the key she's typing she's got the touchpad there and just to show you some of the colors that you can set it you can actually if you click select all non power zones that does everything at once so let's say you wanted the whole computer to have a greenish appearance like this you could set it all to green see yeah. can i have my blue back please just to show some people what different colors you can set can you click on each one? Do you cl actually click on it or? Oh, do you actually? Yeah, look at. Do you think that red looks a bit scary? Oh, it hurts the eyes too. <laughs> yellow, I want to see yellow. Ooh. Oh gosh, that looks um. That doesn't look so good. Black. Well, what's the point of black? It just turns all the lights off. Oh, but the trackpad. Except for the stays. trackpad, yeah. Purple. And do a pulse just to see what that looks like. Pulse. Yep. <laughs> Imagine eye. trying to use your computer. How embarrassing that would be! Like, it's like at a hey, disco. Look at me. I've got an alien lift on the wall. And like, even the meow. back is flashing. Look. Even though, try not to, to with the hard drive in it. Try not to do oh, too much. But it just feels.
feels like it's going to lift off. Look at but this. But look at, like, even the back's flashing. So even if people oh. are looking. <laughs> and there's a little flashing alien, alien head. there. Yeah. Okay, that's it. I don't want that anymore. Oh, no, it's gone. Come back. Can we turn the pulse off? Do we press <laughs> There's even warp, and it will slowly change colour over time. Okay. That means like it'll go through the colours. I just want colour, colours. okay? And I want my blue colour. That blue? What colour did I like? That blue, I think. Yeah, I like that blue. It's funny because that looks purple in the mind, camera. I didn't mind that aqua. You know what? I think I'm going to have aqua. Okay. What do yeah. you like about aqua? I don't know. It's not as harsh as the dark blue. Yeah. And it's easily visible. I like that. Okay. Okay, now let's get out of this so screen. So press quit and then just yes. And just yes, save changes. Okay. And now, yep, it's saved like that. Good. And now I'm just going to shut down the computer. And show how fast it shuts down. Wait, let's time it. I've got to admit, um, shut down isn't as fast as I thought, but let's let's go. Remember, virus scanner and stuff, so software is running, so it's almost like a real environment of a computer. Mm. Okay, ready? Set. Remember, double click. Yep. Three, two, one. Shutting down. It's actually taking a while. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There we oh, go. Oh, there we go. It was about 25 seconds. Yeah. Okay. But definitely better than your other computer, which sometimes took three minutes. What the hey? What? What is Look it? Look at this. Oh, you can't see it on my iPhone, yeah. but through the camera, if you point it at a specific angle, you can see a purple flashing thing. Oh, there is too. See that? I wonder what that it's is. It's flashing purple and I can't see that in I real life. I can't mic. see that with the naked eye either. You yeah. can only see it through the yeah, camera. Yeah, and if you tilt it, you can't see it's it properly. Going, isn't that weird? So what, if you guys can tell us on OS First Time or what this is, that would be pretty interesting. It must be like some UV non-visible thing because <laughs> you, you can look at it as much as you want but that flashing mm. light is not visible whatsoever. Wow. Apple anyway, spying on us. This was supposed to be about my new laptop. <laughs> I love my new laptop. I've customised it exactly the way I want it. And now I want this to last me the next 10 years or so. Yep. Yeah. So there we go. Okay, bye. Bye.